Hi guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial on IT Tutorials. I am Josef uh, Botnar, and uh, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna to show you how to add multiple uh, forms uh, to your uh, Windows Form app project. Uh, so I'm gonna to start a, a project uh, from the scratch. So we'll go on uh, create a new project. Click on it. Here, uh, select uh, Windows Form app. Uh, and uh, in parentheses .NET uh, Framework, uh, click Next. Here, write the name of, of your project, uh, like uh, Add uh, Forms. Yeah. And uh, here, uh, click on this button if you want to change uh, the location where uh, your project uh, will be at. And uh, here, I'm going to add uh, CN. Uh, this is not... Um, mandatory uh, i do uh, just to make a difference between solution and project so click uh, create and uh, here you go our project uh, was already created let's uh, change the size for this uh, form i'm gonna go inside the solution explorer and uh, you can see here is uh, our form uh, and if i extend this uh, form you can see inside to uh, files this uh, form one dot designer dot cs which is this uh, uh, file uh, this is the code uh, attached to uh, that uh, file and uh, we've got this uh, form one dot rex as uh, well so uh, each uh, form uh, will have uh, these uh, two files attached and uh, let me to open again the design of this uh, form uh, and each uh, form uh, has attached a class so let me to open the code uh, right click and select your code and here is the class actually this uh, form is uh, a, an object uh, which is a part of this uh, class in this moment as you can see the class uh, has the same name as uh, the form and if I go inside the Solution Explorer, uh, you can see the class has the same name uh, as uh, the file uh, where this uh, class uh, is uh, located. If I want, uh, I can change uh, this. Um, I don't recommend to do this uh, usually because uh, you will get uh, in a few troubles uh, and you will receive errors. But you can fix uh, this. Uh, you can do it if you want. The, straight uh, way is uh, to change the name of the file here in Solution Explorer. Yeah, right click, rename, and uh, let's name it uh, Add Forms. Okay, now, uh, <clears throat> yes, as you can see, Visual Studio automatically changed the name for the class as well, for the constructor as well. You should know the constructor must have the same name as the class. Okay, so if uh, you would do like I did, you would uh, change the name of the file. As uh, you have seen, this uh, will change uh, at the same time the name of the class, which is part of uh, this uh, file. Uh, it's part of the same file, yeah. And uh, let me to release this uh, app. As you can see, I don't receive errors, so the app works without problems. But uh, what if I change uh, the name of the class here inside the code, and the name would be different than the name? of the file let's see so i'm going to change the name of the class so add forms i'm going to write like uh, multiple forms okay here you go the same uh, the first uh, observation is that uh, we receive here inside the code uh, errors. Why? Because the constructor must have the same name as 
each class. So we have to go here first. And now you can notice that uh, the name of the class is different than the name of the file which uh, this class is part. Yeah. So let's go and change first the name of uh, this constructor. Add uh, multiple forms. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> now here where uh, the name of the constructor is, the error disappeared. Yeah, because uh, now this rule is fulfilled. The constructor has the same name as each class. But as you can see, we still have errors. So what we can do to remove the error, what uh, it left. So I go back to Solution Explorer and uh, I'm going to open this uh, file and uh, you can realize already I have here uh, errors because the name of this class which is related straight to that uh, class inside uh, this uh, file has a different name yeah? and I should change this here and I'm going to write add multiple forms here you go and now let's go back uh, inside this uh, file where uh, we've got a class uh, which is uh, related straight to our form so as you seen now the errors disappeared about completely because if i release now this application you will see i receive further errors and i'm gonna to give a click on this uh, red spot which will take me inside the main method static void main method which is the main entrance point for each C sharp application yeah which is part of this uh, file program.cs yeah this file and here you can see the error why because the name of the form which is the startup form wasn't changed so i'm going to change here the name as well yeah, and i'm going to write here multiple forms and here you go and let's release now this app and now finally my project uh, was uh, launched and i don't have any more any errors so uh, as uh, you have seen if you give a different name for the class which is related to the form that uh, the file uh, where uh, this uh, class is uh, located uh, you have a, a bit work to do yeah but you can do it as uh, you have seen uh, previous okay so uh, let's uh, now uh, add uh, to this project a few forms to add the uh, forms uh, to a project you go on solution right click select add and uh, after select windows 4 this will take you inside this uh, uh, dialog window and visual studio as uh, you can see select a straight uh, windows form you just uh, have uh, to write the name of your uh, form so i'm going to name it uh, red and add here you go i'm going to change uh, the back color for this form and i'm gonna to choose red yeah here you go i am gonna go to open the solution explorer and here is our new form now in this moment i've got two forms add forms and red forms i'm gonna to open this um, form and uh, i can notice uh, that the both has the same uh, files yeah as you can see now i'm going to add another form i'm going to 
follow the same steps. Yeah. And I'm going to name it uh, green. Here you go. Solution uh, properties. I'm going to select the form properties. And here, I'm going to change the background color to green. Okay. And the new form uh, was added, as you can see, the green uh, form. So in this moment, uh, I've got uh, three uh, forms, uh, add forms. Yeah. The green and the red uh, form. Let's uh, release uh, this app, and uh, what you can notice that the main form, which is this form one, was launched. The another forms wasn't uh, launched. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to change the name for the the main form, which is uh, this one. I'm gonna to name it main form here you go all right but you can change this if you want uh, your app to have another uh, startup form you can change this you just uh, go uh, here inside the program file yeah and as you can see here is this uh, application class with a run method and inside the run method parentheses you will write the name of uh, the form what uh, you want to be the startup uh, form yeah so here you go if you want uh, the green form to be your startup uh, form which will be launched when your project is uh, released you just uh, write in here green you can notice that uh, this uh, class uh, together with this method run is part of this method static void main which is the uh, main entrance point for each uh, visual c sharp application let's release uh, this up now you can notice that this form is the main form which is launched uh, together with the uh, project if you want uh, that uh, the red form to be launched together with the project or the, to be the startup form you just write here red and after parentheses and release your application and your red form will be the main form which is the startup uh, form of your uh, project also if you go here in solution explorer you can organize uh, the form in a folder yeah so select the solution right click add new folder and write here my forms okay and uh, select your forms uh, press control key if you have uh, windows and uh, with the mouse uh, select the other forms and with the mouse move them inside this my forms uh, folder click ok here you go now uh, all these uh, forms are part uh, of this uh, folder and I can hide the uh, forms inside this uh, folder my forms if I want to open this uh, folder just click on the arrow and this will be expanded as you can see and here is uh, my forms and forms grid and red if I launch the app now it works very well no problem no errors as you can uh, see so you can organize your forms uh, in this way yeah what about uh, if uh, i uh, create now uh, if i uh, add now another form so let's add another form following the, the same steps yeah so i'm gonna to name it like um, another uh, another color uh, could be blue yeah and let's change the background color to blue 
here you go here uh, in solution explorer is my uh, new form which was added a few seconds ago and now uh, what uh, you can notice this form is not part of this uh, folder is uh, situated separated yeah uh, against uh, these uh, these uh, three forms as you can see yeah uh, but if you want to add uh, this form inside uh, this folder my forms you can do it without any problems you just select it and uh, move it inside this form okay and here you go now uh, your form is part uh, of this uh, folder as uh, others as you can see yeah we launch uh, the application again and uh, as you can see no errors no problems the app works uh, smoothly without any problems so that was uh, the goal of this uh, video tutorial to show you how uh, you can add uh, multiple forms to your project and how you can change the startup uh, form of your project and uh, how you can organize your uh, forms in uh, folders and uh, how you can uh, change uh, the name of the class which is uh, related straight uh, to your uh, form so thank you for watching this video tutorial i'm waiting for you to watch my other video tutorials see you next time bye bye